Hi everyone, uh, this is RK again. Um, this would be our final uh, final part for uh, the series of uh, Informatica MDM installation. So in, in the part one as well as part two, part three, we have, as you have probably noticed it, like the main stuff like uh, identifying Informatica version and the, and you know the process availability matrix PAM as well as based on that we have installed Oracle GP JDK and uh, we have also configured uh, JBoss as well as we have also installed the uh, Informatica Hub Console and we have also configured uh, the MDM sample as well as CMX underscore war as uh, schema two. In the final in the final process, uh, we are going to install the process server as well as the resource kit sample. So let's go ahead and continue uh, the final part of the installation too. If you look at it over here, what I'm going to do is in the windows, in the clan server, I'm, all I need is uh, install the clan's installation. Let's go ahead and click it continue. When it is coming up and uh, I'll come back, I think it looks like it is, it is going to be much faster. So. What I want, what I want, oh, okay, anyway, let's wait. Click OK. Next, I accept. Next, all we are going to see E. MDM 10 and female plans next. Um, here there is only one thing is what I'm going to put. I'm going to put it under Informatica Hub Server folder and click next. It is asking the license file. I'm going to choose it wherever we have installed it. I don't want to put it the old one. So when I e MDM 10 hub uh, Server license. This is the same license has been utilized. Click next. I'm going to say the JBAS and uh, choose the directory wherever it is. Computer MDM10 JBAS EAP2. Click next after choosing standalone server JBAS because this is what is going to do production. Do you have a proxy? We are going to say no. Yes, run the script during the first installation. So this is going to complete the, the process server installations. Uh, it is going so fast, looks like it is also going to get completed very soon. In the meantime, if you look at it here, uh, the process server, once the installation has been done, process server console mode, we have already did that, silent mode, and the post installation task, what they are talking about, um, installation log file. We don't need to worry about that, those things. The only stuff what I would prefer you guys to add it, uh, the, the delete the temporary files as well as setting the configuration properties. This is the word, you know, I would like to. Right now it's saying sample configuration skip. You can say like, uh, make it make sure that this is false. What happened otherwise it is going to keep the files into a memory. There is only one stuff I would like you to change. Other than that, rest everything, you know, we, we should be okay with that, okay? Oh, it's saying, no, I'll restart the system myself, done. If you go and look at it here now, okay, MDM10 and Chinfamatica Hub Clients, CMX Clients dot properties, open with the text pad. It's saying here there's only one. I would like to make sure that this is a false. I put in clan properties other than that. I'm going to leave it rest everything the same way. It's uh, supposed to be Zoogie, but take time and everything, okay? 
So once this has been done, let's also go back and check in uh, uh, JBoss whether it has been deployed is correct. The way you can find out is if you look at it here. In the America entity, it is if you look at it, uh, it is hyper in MRM clients.ar it has been deployed it successfully without any problem so that means it is good uh, from this uh, aspect too so we have done that Now let's go ahead and complete the, the final part of the, the resource kit installation too. MDM10, SQL Developer, Informatica Software, Windows Resource Kit install. Let's also complete the resource kit installation too because remember we have configured the in case remember this if you want to install the resource kit installations you need to complete all the mdm sample otherwise this will not install properly okay that's only one mandatory requirement for these guys to run it properly now look at it uh, it initialized everything and i'm going to click ok on the multi-domain edition whenever this particular software comes up and click next uh, accept the terms of license and agreement. I'm going to say everything. I'm going to, it's okay saying that you know sample schema need to be created, and where I want to put the folder would be always. I'm keeping it everything MDM10 info ADM. Then install. I'm going to put it under in the existing Informatica MDM server. Click next. Configure samples, source only. So I'm just putting everything configure samples to JBoss. And the directory would be computer MDM10 JBoss EAP2. Click next, standalone server, JBoss remote port this, local host. Uh, what would be your admin password? Uh, I'm going to enter my password over here. Oh, the password it is an incorrect informatica mdm admin password so in this case admin click next uh, if you look at it here since you know i have already if you look at it in the M informatica mdm hub console i have we have configured we have added as well as we have also added as a create the data source so because of that we do see two of them one is the MDM CMX ORS, another one is MDM sample. So we would like to put it everything under MDM sample. Click next. Yes, run the script during this installation. So install. This is going to pretty much is an install all your uh, the resource kit install too. This is primarily useful for if somebody wants to learn mainly for the developers if they want to play around as well as for the admin if they want to play around. This should be pretty useful stuff um, and if you look at it here uh, pretty much you know with the minimal installations with it like another uh, if you look at it overall time as I might have spent like one hour during the one hour time period uh, we have successfully installed uh, multiple things if you look at it here let me go back and uh, give the high level overview we have installed our uh, we have identified the MDM version that is really important. Then identifying the JDK, then identifying our proper database. In this case, write is when I say the proper database, when that mean, meant by that is write version to support it by uh, Informatica. And if you guys run into an issue, please feel free to let me know. And you have my email and my phone number too, so I should be able to help you guys out on that. And part three, if you look at it, we have also installed the JBoss. And during the JBoss installation, we have created the data source as well as we have also created the uh, the JDBC configurations. Please remember that. And I have also copied the client file without that things would have not worked perfectly. Then after that, we went ahead and installed the MDM Hub Console. 
once it is been and uh, because most of the Inform Informatica guys recommending saying that oh do not use the post installations but I recommend it please go ahead and use the post install script because uh, whatever you know the, if you follow my the, the way I've identified the configuration sequence you should be able to install without any problem and in case if you guys run into any issues please let me know in the part 4 if you look at it uh, we went ahead and installed the process server uh, as well as the resource kit uh, pretty much you know uh, resource kit uh, and with this process pretty much you know we have completed the entire uh, installation of the uh, informatica mdm successfully uh, and if you if you have if you get any in order to make sure that whether it has been installed successfully or not what i would like to do i would like you to check you know connect to this mdm sample and connect and making sure that if you look at it all the necessary stuff it's all came in over here so that means it is all you know resource gate as well as everything came up very nicely over here okay um and uh, and then you know please feel free to give me any comments or if you feel like you need any help and please feel free to ask me i should be able to help you guys out and uh, uh, that's all and uh, once again um, thanks for watching my video and if you guys need any help or need any questions please feel free to ask me on this phone number you can reach me at 925 9981494 or you should be also able to reach me with another kr007 at yahoo.com and uh, that's it and once again thanks for watching the video hope i was able to help you guys uh, a yeah, successful informatica mdm 10 installations once again thank you so much thanks for watching my video